hard sometimes to see the, the path between my single vote and what's going to happen in my life and the life of people in my community. But all of these things affect all of us. And so we've got to be wise with our vote and know that our vote means something and that we are powerful, especially here in Georgia. Like I said, these elections are so close and they're so determinative of what's going to happen in the country. She is a biracial candidate and she comes from marginalized demographics. She is Indian and she is black. Those are two marginalized demographics in America. She comes from the working class. A lot of people come from the working class. I think you, another highlight is that she has worked in fast food chains before, like McDonald's. A lot of us have worked in uh, a lot of fast food chains, and I think it's very important that when I talk to them about Kamala compared to Trump, that you see how, how she lived and how she was raised is a reflection of how we were raised as well. Whereas someone like Trump was kind of born into money, he was born into generational wealth, whereas Kamala wasn't. She came from a family of immigrants. She came from a working class. She came from people who were, had to work their way and prove themselves that they earned the position to be an American system, citizen. And generally, when you come from marginalized demographics, you have to work two times as hard to prove that you are just as worthy as your other American counterparts. <laughs> You know, I grew up looking up to artists who use their voices as uh, uh, voices of the civil rights movement and voices that encourage us to be better than we were. And uh, I always thought that that was what an artist was supposed to do. Uh, I always thought that was part of the job description. And when I was 15 years old, I was in a, a essay competition sponsored by McDonald's. Uh, and it was a Black History Month essay competition, and it was, uh, the prompt was simple. It said, how do you plan to make black history? And I said, I'm going to become a successful recording artist, and I'm going to use my success and my, and my platform to make a difference in my community and give back, because I believed even at 15 that that was part of what it meant to be an artist, and I've been living that aspiration ever since. <laughs> Before Biden dropped out, it was a lot harder to get uh, people like convinced to vote Democrat. But with Harris, people are, and especially Tim Wallace as well, people are very, very like optimistic about the fate of this country, which is something we couldn't see with Biden. So yeah, I think we've been able to get a lot of uh, young people. Like we haven't even needed to convince most people because people have been so optimistic about Harris. Like there's some stragglers here and there. But generally, like, we've been able to just bring people on board because people like Kamala Harris. Moved up to the top of the ticket, but uh, they were doing the conversation around reproductive rights. People like John Legend are absolutely vital. I'd like to see people like Taylor Swift and Beyonce come out too because I think celebrities, like, celebrities are uh, idols to some people. And I think having idols speak out about, like, important issues like this is absolutely important to this uh, country. The most recent election, I wasn't, like, old enough to vote. So it was definitely like really important to me that I got the chance to like participate in as many like voter like um, mobilization like events as possible. And John Legend is like one of my like childhood artists. It's kind of like something I remember when I think of like my family. So um, yeah, that's part of the reason I wanted to come. passion for like reaching out to voter demographics that are also younger is very intentional and I think it's like something that will help people like understand the power of voting um, even if you don't vote for Kamala Harris just like seeing how a lot of her um, how so much of her campaigning has been involved with like children and like people at different ages and meeting them where they are I think that's just like a very like significant message for people who are growing up in America and people who are just learning more about like the voting system. <laughs>